Hey guys, Eitan here from Bavegang Sound Design. Today I'll talk about how to balance the music behind a voice track using Adobe Premiere. We'll talk about enhancing the voice track, editing the volume of the music manually using keyframes, and automatically using the Essential Panel tool. So how to do it? All you have to do is to command click to create four points on your music track, just like that, and drag it down. This will decrease the volume of the music, which will make your voice more clear. The automatic way is to select your voice track, go to the audio tab and assign the dialog section to the audio clip, click your music, click music, activate ducking and click generate keyframes. Ta-da! That's it. That's the easy way. And that's what you can find in a lot of other tutorials on YouTube. But how does it sound? Okay. <laughs> Do you have anybody that specializes in digital campaigns for vintage toys? It's better than nothing. But from a sound designer point of view, the music here drops much sooner than needed, comes back up too late, which sound very unprofessional. The point of ducking the music is to create a seamless transition between the voice and the music. To get a better perspective on how to make your video sound professional, we'll need to dive a little deeper. So before talking about adjusting the music, let me just give you a quick overview of what is done in professional sound design studios so you can get a better understanding of the process. When editing dialogue, as a sound designer, I start by manually adjusting the volume automation lane, boosting low syllables and attenuating loud ones, making sure the energy of the voice is constant throughout the video. The next step is to remove unwanted sounds like loud breaths and mouth clicks. I cut the breaths to reduce their gain and remove mouth clicks using manual editing or declick plugins. Then I remove background noises using a denoiser if needed. I also use EQ to increase presence and remove irritating frequencies. And finally, if the extra gain is needed, I use a compressor to reduce dynamic range and increase the overall gain. Now, this tutorial is about music, right? So why are we talking about dialogue editing? Well, the reason that we want to adjust the music behind a voice track is for the voice to be clear so that the viewer can understand what the video is about, right? So the best way to do that is to first make sure that the voice is present, clean, clear, and has a constant energy level. And only then we can adjust the music behind it. So before we continue, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Now, this is a premiere tutorial for video creators, so we are going to make things much quicker and much easier for you. This does not replace professional sound design in any way, but it's a quick way of making sure your voice is clean, present, and well balanced with the background music. Assuming you have multiple audio clips in your sequence as you see in the example, the first thing to do is automatically match their gain using the auto match feature. Let's listen to it. So I'm just undoing everything. Do you have anybody that specializes in digital campaigns for vintage toys? Do I? What am I doing? This clip is much louder than the other clips. So I'm selecting the clips. I'm going to loudness auto match and that's it very easy now let's listen to it paints for vintage toys what am i doing all right so that's much better the next step is to use compression a compressor can be used if your voice track has a large dynamic range which means that there is a big difference between the loud and quiet sounds you can also use a compressor to increase the overall loudness without clipping which is very important at this point, I want to say that compression is one of the most important things to understand if you want to level up your sound work. We have a tutorial on compression that gives a deep explanation on how to use the one that you have in Premiere. 
and also how to master other compressors that exists on the market. So check it out, just click the link in the description. For this video, as promised, we'll keep it short and simple. So just go to Clarity, activate Dynamics, and increase the effect. Let's listen to it. Have anybody that specializes in digital campaigns for vintage toys? Do I? What a medium? All right, so we need a little bit more of loudness in the second clip, right? So I'm increasing the dynamic. Do I? What a medium? Campaigns for vintage toys. Do I? What a medium? And we can also increase the volume automation link. Do I? What a medium? All right, so that's better. Now that your voice track is well balanced, clean and present, you can start adjusting the music behind it. The last step is to use EQ. So I usually like to use parametric equalizer, but you can also just go to enhance speech and select high tone. Anybody that specializes in digital campaigns for vintage toys. All right, and you also have voice presence here. Do you have anybody that specializes in digital? And then you can click on low tone. Have anybody that specializes in digital campaigns for vintage toys? Do I? What a medium? All right, it's not great. I would, I really recommend you to use a real EQ and you can check another tutorial which we made a, about EQ, which really explains how to boost the right frequencies for human voice. All right, so I'm just going to deselect these two. And now that your voice track is well balanced, clean and present, you can start adjusting the music behind it. As I showed in the beginning of the video, you have two ways of doing this, manually and automatically. First of all, enlarge your music track, command click the volume laid where the sentence starts create four points. Now simply drag it down. You have to use your ears to know how much to decrease. I'll give you a little tip. When the speech starts, do a quick ducking of the volume, meaning that the slope is quite sharp and the ducking is fast. At the end of the sentence, do a slower return. Digital campaigns for vintage toys. Vintage toys. Do I? What a medium? Vintage toys. Do I? What a medium? That way, the transition between the voice and the music will feel more natural. Okay. <laughs> Do you have anybody that specializes in digital campaigns for vintage toys? Do I? What a medium? You can also do it automatically using the generic keyframes feature, as I explained before, and adjust the keyframes manually. So that brings us to the end of this Premiere Pro tutorial brought to you by Bavegang Sound Design. We are a sound studio and we make the ordering process of the sound design so much easier. Simply name your project, select the length of your video, and tell us where it will be published. That's it. The price is automatically calculated and presented up front. Just send your files and you'll receive a stunning mix. My name is Eitan. I'll see you next time.